Oh shit! my phone. Oh, fuck. Hey. Yeah, 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 I know I'm late. I know I'm late. But, but I, I can get in uh, in uh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. What? No, 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 please, please. Dude. You understand that I, I have no way of paying my bills, right? This is the this is like the 15th job I've had in a year. Please, I'm begging you. I guess I'll get my stuff in in tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, bye. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Uh, hello. Uh, I'm watching someone get the shit beat out of them right now. As far back as I could remember, I was always religious. The first time I ever did prayer was in Sunday school when I was five. My dad and mom are both incredibly rich. My mom was born into wealth and my dad worked to become what he is today. They are both active members of the church, being the main people that fund all the activities. I am known positively in college, for the most part. I sometimes get the occasional jab about my faith, but I just ignore it. My life has been one of great privilege. I know I'm not like other people, but I think that's okay as long as I'm not a bad person. situation right now. What do you mean? How many more months can you go without money? Probably two months after food and insurance and shit. Holy fuck, Val. Yeah. Listen, if you want, I could offer you some work. Really? Yeah. After selling everything, Sam went to a bar. Witnesses say that he got belligerently drunk. <laughs> hey, what are you doing at a time like this? <clears throat> Where's the money, huh? I don't have it. Why are you at the bar? I had a little bit. I wanted to drink. Huh. Really now? <clears throat> you know that money's for, for Dante. Hey! Leave him alone. Uh-huh. Why? I said leave him alone. 
Oh man. Okay. Okay. Hey man, are you okay? Thanks. What was that all about? Well, I owe some money, and then won't be dead. Oh jeez. What's your name? Sam. Man, Sam, you know what? I'll write you a check to help you out. Oh really? Thanks. Wow. And I'll give you my, my business card so that you can contact me. It has my phone number and address on it. Oh, wow. Thanks. Oh, yeah. And before you go, take this. You probably need some protection. Whoa. Don't worry. I just carry it for camp. Oh, I see. Thank you. Well, Reports logged a phone call. In this phone call, Ville, 24, male, was talking with a man by the name of Dante. Reports also say that this was the start of the local murders in the area. The murders consisted of debtors that owed Dante hefty amounts of money. However, what is unusual about these murders is that they were not reported until months after the incident. What is also odd is the lack of police involvement. When questioned, the police department only gave excuses. When asked about evidence and logs, they were completely gone besides cassettes of calls. Frank was regarded as a very selfless, caring, and kind person throughout his years of high school, and even into college. So did you just start going to your church, or? When I was younger, I was Pentecostal, but we switched churches about 15 or 17. In the first damning phone call with Sam and Dante, Sam became involved in a money laundering scheme with the victim being Frank. Obviously, Frank had no idea of this. Whether it be stupidity or pure naivety, Frank still gave Sam money. Man, I can't believe you drink that stuff. What? You? Yeah. I started at a young age. How young? Shit. First time I drank was 16. Wow. Yeah, my buddy, my buddy, he's dead now. He stuck beer to a party one time. Never stopped since. You ever think of drink of stopping? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Hello? Um, it's Sam. What do you want, Sammy? I just wanted to call- You decide to call me after years of ignoring me and hiding from me to tell me something while I'm at work? You understand that I have work, right? You understand that I have a fucking life. Nothing, Mom. It's nothing. That's what I thought. Now, if you will, fuck off to whatever shithole you currently live in and leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, Mom. Bye. Sorry. You better be fucking sorry. Don't call me ever again, you fucking deadbeat. Hello? Hey Frank, it's Sam. Oh hey, how's it going? Never better. <laughs> That's good. I I just wanted to call to bring you some good news. I'm all ears. Remember how you were helping me pay off my debt? Yup. Debt's paid off. Wait, really? Yup. Couldn't have done it without you. That's great, man. 
I just really don't know what to say besides so thank you. Hey, sometimes people need help. Most don't take it, but everyone needs a boost every once in a while. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'll get out of your hair. Thanks again. Anyway. I just really want to say thank you. Like, I can't appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sam. Yeah? What's going on? Sam came from a battered home. His father died and it was up to Sam's mother to take care of him. It was clear from the start that Sam's mom didn't love her son. And before he was born, tried multiple times to get an abortion. Sadly for Sam's mother, Sam was born. It's clear that this had an effect on Sam's mental health, as he picked up bad habits like smoking cigarettes and drinking alcohol. When Sam's mother found out about these new form addictions, Sam was kicked out of his home and went to friend to friend, couch to couch. All of this was done at the age of 15. At this point, Dante had set up a meeting with Ville. While it is not known what was talked about at this meeting, it was clear it wasn't anything good. Dante was clearly trying to test the waters and limits to his new cash cow. Frank and Sam hung out again. This would be the last time that they would interact as friends. Hello? Yeah, this is Frank Lovey. What? What is it? No, 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 no. I, What? My parents, man. What's wrong? I, I gotta go. Holy shit. The next 16 hours, everything goes blank. One phone call indicates that Sam called Dante to try and understand what was going on. Afterwards, from testimony from Frank, he was informed by police that he would need to report home. Immediately. Once he did, he was knocked out. All he knows is that him and Sam were both brought to what Frank described as an abandoned house. Wake up, Sam. What the hell? Any last words? Eat shit. Wait. Please. What, what can we do? I thought you'd never fucking ask. Listen carefully. Now, I want your savings, and I want all the money you give to the church to go to us. All of this? Every fucking penny. Oh shit! <laughs> Man, wait, holy shit! Ah, 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 oh my god, please! Ah, 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 shit, motherfucker! Stop, man, stop, man, he's already dead. Later, Sam told Frank everything. In court, Frank described his feeling of confusion and rage. After everything, Frank eventually told police about what happened and was able to get Sam charged with first degree murder. Both Dante's and Frank's locations are both unknown, and every attempt of contact has failed. Hey, are you here? Alright. Love you.